What's up, y'all? Um, this video is about being as if. I want to say this is really for manifestation, intention, all of that jazz. If you really want something, just be as if. A lot of people say fake it till you make it, but faking it doesn't really work because it only go. It only takes you so far. I'll say that. Faking it till you make it will only take you so far. Because the thing with faking it is you don't actually feel that way. You can fake being confident, but if somebody were to test you, you would immediately cower because you know you're not confident in yourself. So, it's all about actually being confident. It's about being what you want to be. It's not about faking your confidence, faking your coolness, being... Be cool. And the thing is, a lot of people don't know how to be cool because they don't know how to be themselves. That's the conundrum right there. Like, if you don't know yourself and you think being authentically you is weird or awkward or just not good in general, you are never going to be cool because those aspects of yourself that you think are awkward, weird, unnecessary, extra, you don't share those with the world. So people only get to see this scripted format of you where you're trying to fake cool. You're trying to fake confidence and you're super stiff and just going about life all really uh, not even. I want to say you're basically running around like a machine. So be as if whatever you want, embody that you want to experience confidence. You want to have more confidence in your life. Be confident. And don't say, oh, sometimes it's hard. It's really not hard. It's really not hard. Do it with the simplest simplest of things. Like, you want to be confident. Let's see. You want to go up and talk to somebody? Turn your confidence on. Say to yourself, well, I can talk to this person. I've done it a million times. And you could be thinking to yourself, I've never done it a million times. Say that. I've done it a million times. You've known you've done it a million times. It's not about what's real, what's not real. It's about what's authentic to you. All truth are true. Every belief you tell yourself is true. You will bend to these truths, to these beliefs that you have of yourself. If you think that you're ugly, you will succumb to the belief that you are ugly. When the lie that you don't believe that somebody says you're pretty or somebody says you're attractive, you immediately turn it down due to your belief of being ugly. You see where I'm going with this? It's all about, this is another thing. You have to be as if and you also have to destroy limiting beliefs. Because when you're being as if, well, I'll just say this. When you're being as if, it will help you to keep your eye on these limiting beliefs. It will show you these limiting beliefs because you will try to be confident. And then something will come up and it'll be like, oh, you can't be confident because you look like this. You can't be confident because you have this. That's your limiting belief. That's what you need to dive in on. Personal example. Oh, you, you're not attractive. You, you're you fat. You, you don't even work out. Who says you have to work out to be attractive? Who says that? Is that a rule somewhere? No, it's just a rule that you have programmed inside of your subconscious mind. So you are running with that program, not understanding how that influences you. So cut out all these negative beliefs. I challenge all of my subscribers, anybody watching this video, be as if, and when these negative beliefs come over, let them come over you, give them no energy. Give them none of your energy. If a negative thought comes in your head, Touch it with compassion. Just, oh, you're ugly. I'm beautiful. Like, like, would you honestly, if a little two-year-old was telling you you're ugly, would you be hurt about it? Some of y'all, yes, I know. Some of y'all, yes, you would be hurt about it because you feel that way. You do feel ugly. So if somebody else said it, you'd be like, oh, dang, yeah, that's true. But the thing is, you need to understand what you want to change about yourself and what is actually real to you. Because it's going to hit you. 
especially in your mind, it's going to hit you. It's going to be like, oh, well, I'm, I'm kind of ugly, like da, da, da. Nah, that's not true. It begins with you. It starts with your beliefs. Your beliefs are able to change reality. You can bend reality at your will just by programming your mind, programming your subconscious mind, and going after what you actually want. You do not have to continue in these thought patterns that you are currently stuck in of, I'm unattractive, or I'm this, or I'm that. And the funny thing is, most of these thought patterns are not even in the awareness of the conscious mind. So that's why I'm saying when you be, because originally you're not being, you are actually unconfident in these scenarios that I'm talking about. But when you start to embody confidence, these thoughts will come up because you have been feeling these for a long period of time. That's why it's so important to actually be what you want and to be what you want to manifest because these limiting uh, beliefs, these limiting factors in your life, these limiting thoughts will rise to the surface and try to oppose the action going on around you and what you are trying to give out into the universe. So, I challenge all of y'all, be as if, accomplish your goals, do what you want, see yourself achieving great things, see that, please, 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 you got this, peace, love, blessings, and honestly, I just need to make this other point, these thoughts arise as you're being, these thoughts were already here, that's the important thing. You need to realize these thoughts, these negative beliefs that you've had, they were already here. So you have been acting from that program. You have been acting from that that mode in your mind of I am unattractive, I am unworthy, I do not deserve love. You have been acting that out. So when you start to act out, I am loved, I am worthy, that's when these negative thoughts hit you. Because you have been doing this, you have been feeling I am unworthy. So now when you actually start feeling worthy and you start feeling, well, you start feeling worthy and then you start acting on it, doing um, actions and involving yourself in circumstances where you are worthy, you are loved, etc., etc., you will only have thoughts that oppose that. And that's the trick. Once you change the thoughts, you can ascend and higher your vibration and now you will have a new uh, frequency and align with your actions. Does that make sense, y'all? So with that being said, once you change the frequency of your mind, you will be able to ascend to a higher vibration, more better emotions, because it won't be as tough the first time because you don't have these negative thoughts anymore. Your frequency has raised, so now you're thinking... Uh, positive thoughts on a higher scale because you just achieved that goal of saying like you used to say I'm not worthy now you say you are worthy so you feel worthy and you act worthy all three of those things are in alignment now in the past it was it was you think you're unworthy you feel unworthy you act unworthy you challenge this by acting worthy you begin to feel worthy and it's not even acting don't think it's acting is being worthy, all right? Being worthy, then you feel worthy. Then you're gonna have those thoughts that says, oh, you're not worthy. Cut that bull crap out. Let it be, let them thoughts just go on. Touch them with a slight of compassion. Touch them with that wand of compassion. It's gone, evaporated. Eventually things fall into alignment with due time. All right? You have a good one. Peace, love, namaste.